Welcome to another episode of Steamy, the daily Steamit show. Today we are looking at Busy.org. Busy is an alternative platform to the Steam blockchain. That means it is the same thing as Steamit, but with a different user interface. Let's have a look how this website works and what it's all about. First of all, you should know that busy.org is being sponsored by Steemit Inc. So they are, although they are a competitor in a way, they are favoring the ecosystem. So Steemit Inc. wants to multiply third party apps. And busy.org was one of the first ones which started last year. And they also came up with Steam Connect which is now being implemented into Busy. Steam Connect is a way to securely use your private keys in order to log into third-party apps. And that is exactly what we want to do now. So when you want to use Busy in order to post and not just to read, you need to log into your Steamit account. And when you click on login, you land on a secure Steam Connect server that asks for your password or posting key or private posting key. You will get that when you go on Steamit and into your wallet and then under permissions, you will find all your keys. Right now you see my public keys. What you need specifically is this key, but not that one because that is public, you need to click on this icon and then it will change into your private key. I will not do that now. I have already saved that here. So I will just use my password manager, select that for Steam Connect and log in. We are now logged into busy.org and the experience is immediately very different from what we used on Steamit. On Steamit we have tiny thumbnails. Let us quickly compare. So here's my blog on Steemit and there you see the small icons on left are the thumbnails which are compared to busy tiny. Here we have a very nice wall of posts with big images. You can, you even have different sized images. So for example, this one here is a full um, vertical image. Normally on Steemit, these images would be cut off and you would just see the top of it, I think. So this immediately gives you a really nice experience, I think. And I love how it looks. But there are a lot of different functions here as well. So let's have a look at that. We have here the bookmark function. When we click that, then this post will be put into our bookmark section, which you will find up here. When you click that, you will now see this post in your bookmarks and you can remove it by clicking on the same icon again. So I'm clicking here on the B, which is the, the busy logo. And that brings me to my home wall where I see the feed of all the people that I'm following. Besides the bookmark, we have a couple of other features here as well. When we hover over the like function, like button, which is basically the upvote from Steemit, then you see immediately this um, slider popping up. And this even works, I think, when you haven't reached the normally necessary 500 Steam power that you need on Steemit to see the slider. Also, you can immediately drop a comment here from the overview. When you click on comment, then you have this field here on the bottom. This is a comment. I will not do that now. It's just an example. Although I don't think that you should really make use of that function all the time because you want to read the post first and not just drop a comment. You want to truly interact and you can reblock, which is re-steam in a more mass, friendly approach. This is the whole point of Busy. They want to create a alternative to Steemit, which is more friendly to the masses. 
And then you have an overview of the likes. Let me scroll down a little bit and see this one, for example. Here you see there are an overview of little icons from the people that I follow who have upvoted this post. So this is really interesting. You see some engagement here from, from your own circle of Steamians and the user that is the furthest on the left did the highest upvote, I think. All right, then on the left, you see there are, um, we are currently in this um, globe tab, which are all the categories. On top, we have my three bookmark categories, which you can achieve by clicking on the little star icon here next to the category name. So I have unbookmarked it now. And it's not bookmark, it's, it's a favorite. It's called a favorite. And now I added it back to my favorite. And now it pops up here on the left again. So I have a quick access to that. By the way, right now I see this is also an interesting function. Here you have immediately the chance to play the video right from the feed of the posts. You don't have to open up this post itself. So this is really cool. And, but it requires that the post doesn't have a thumbnail image. As you can see here, I open up the post and this is how it looks on Busy now you see there is no thumbnail image. If there would be a thumbnail image above the video, which is something I personally do on my blog, so let's go on my blog here on Busy by clicking on my avatar on the top left, which brings me to this post. And this post is also a video post with a YouTube link in it. But since I start the post with my thumbnail, this one will pop up here first and it doesn't pull the video, sadly. All right, then we can search very easily. So if, for example, you can just type in a letter and it will filter down all the category tags that are being used here with this letter. I think these are just the popular one. There are probably more categories than these. And then the next tab here, which looks like a speech bubble, shows you all your followers up until a threshold that is reached down here. And you can search for others by just typing in the letter, which filters down all of them as well, just like with the tags. And also just like with the tags, you have favorite people, so also right next to the name, you have a little star here. So while we are here on that user's profile, we can also use that transfer feature and send that person quickly an amount, any amount of um, steam. Let's quickly do that. This is a busy.org wallet test and click continue and it did send now 0 0.001 steam now it's asking me for my credentials and again i will use my password manager to fill in the steam connect information here and it tells me it's the wrong password so we will not do that right now obviously something went wrong here with my password manager and i'm going Back to busy. I'm sorry, Scooter, you will not get your Steam right now. So this is like an Apple presentation. Today, there was also the Apple presentation and something went wrong on stage with the new iPhone 10. All right, we have here a writing function where you have a very simplified editor. When you type in text, you can highlight it and then there are a couple of things that you can choose that to style it and there's an upload function for images. So it's super simple, very easy. Drafts are posts that you have started and then you clicked away. They are automatically saved here. So this is pretty cool. Let's delete them here. And I already showed you the bookmark function. Here's your wallet. And we click on that, we see 
well, everything you see in the wallet on Steemit as well. Also a little bit simplified here with the design and everything. What I like is you see the user um, avatars in your wallet. So that's a nice improvement. And again, you have the transfer function and a little overview of your wallet here on the left. Another thing that I didn't mention yet is this bar here below each username. There you have a very important feature that we are missing on Steemit, which is the voting power. You see currently I have 88% of that. Okay, then here on the top, these tabs, we have here is your home feed, which is really nice because it is being filtered with all the resteams. So you see only my own posts here currently and none of the posts that I resteamed they have gotten their own tab here, which are called reblogs. And when you click on that, you see all the posts that I have re-steamed. This is really nice. Next to that is the feed, which is the same as on, by clicking on the logo. Then you have your replies and the wallet that we just were looking at. And then also messages, which is also a new function on Busy. You can write other people private messages here, which are, I think, not visible on Steemit, but I'm not quite sure about that. They're probably, they're obviously somewhere publicly stored in the blockchain, but I think there is no function for that to display that on steemit.com. And finally, you have here a little bit of shortcuts plus for write a new blog post, there is the bookmarks function that I showed you earlier. And you have a little bit of feedback here about Busy, um, leading you to the GitHub page from them, their vision that they want to approach the mass market. Um, although I now think that steemit.com will be the platform that approaches the mass market with a new update for the user interface. You see the team that is involved in the busy.org development, the advisors and the contributors, and also a donation page. Since this is nonprofit, they live entirely from donations. And as you can see here, Steemit did the grandest donation of at least $25,000. You can read about that in their donation post, which is over here on the busy dot org it's called at busy.org user account from them okay that's the busy.org website i hope you like that if you want you can switch to that website you can jump back and forth i think i will test it out a little bit more in general though i prefer using steemit.com because um, I'm just used to it and I like the way it looks, um, although I'm not a big fan of it. For now, I will continue being mainly on steamit.com and I'm eagerly awaiting the new update for that website. Okay, that's it for the Steamy Show. I talk to you tomorrow.